So today I'm using Stefan's Conditioning Shave Cream. I need to see if I get that, get that to focus here. Um, I've used a few Stefan products over the past year, and I've really gravitated to this. I tend to use it between soap shaves to keep my skin from drying out. It goes on pretty smoothly. It essentially feels like lotion, right? But it isn't sucked into the skin immediately, so it gives you some time to... Time to do the shave and, and then rinse it off, or you can rub it in if you want. I tend to... Give a quick rinse to whatever's left on the skin. Today I'm using feather blades in the, with a black front to them. You're used to the, you're seeing the ones in yellow. And I can't tell any difference from the packaging, but they do seem to cut differently. I mean, the ones in the yellow packaging tend to be quite sharp but a little too aggressive for me and they also don't seem to last as long as these do these last about four shades or well, ones other ones you know if you get two out of them before they start grabbing you're good I don't know if they're a different type, or they're just an older version, or they're made in a different location, or what. Shaving with a cream or lotion is different than shaving with something that lathers. I mean, the blade moves really smoothly over the skin. It's well lubricated. You just don't have the same cushioning, if you will. You have to be with a little bit of a lighter hand when you shave. I also find that I don't have to reapply any of the cream, of the, of the, the stuff I'm using now, the Stefan's. For a second pass, the skin, the skin stays pretty slick. Here's my second pass here. So it has a, I've done a review on this. It has a nice scent. I think this is one of my definite rebuys. I've really gotten to really appreciate it. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Shaving against the grain really doesn't do much more than shaving with it because it took the first first amount off. Pretty slick. So as I've been working through the channel and kind of developing it, there are some types of videos that are done pretty well. They usually do with fragrance comparisons. 
or kind of more exotic shave stuff like Florida water. Oh, well, certainly, certainly do more of those. When it comes to razor comparisons, not nearly as much traffic. And I think I'll keep doing them anyhow. I know that's not going to help me with the algorithm or anything, but the whole purpose of this channel, at least for me, well, there's two. One, I would like to get to the point where I make enough money where I, I can at least cover my expenses for this, right? I can pay for the products I'm reviewing. And two, I really want to, um, talk about classical grooming things like double-edged safety razors, you know, old barbershop products and so forth because I think there's something valuable there in the history of this, right? And ultimately I want to encourage men of all ages to take care of themselves. I'm looking at the camera like you can see me. They take care of themselves in the sense that their appearance means something. I'm not interested in, you know, giving people a sense of pride or, or vanity. I do shave my forehead because it tends to soften the wrinkles a bit. But I do want them to have a sense of self-worth. And, uh, I think, you know, there's certainly a lot of self-importance in today's world, but uh, self-worth and self-sacrifice um, don't necessarily, they don't have to be um, against each other. They don't have to be two different sides, They don't because I can't think of the word. You could be, have a lot of self-worth and have a lot of self-sacrifice. Because when you have both, if you have the willingness to care for yourself and work to build yourself up and yet be willing to sacrifice for the things that are important to you, that gives you purpose, right? And I'm hoping that we're all developing a sense of purpose because we only have so many years in this life and when our last day comes, we want to be able to say, yeah, I did right by my family or by my whatever it is that gets you uh, gets you out of bed in the morning. I'm going to try out some Aqua Velva. I've used this as my second time using it. Mmm, that's nice. I'll probably do a abbreviated review of this, but it's got a nice bright and a strong lemon lime note. When I first put it on, I thought it was like powerful 7-Up soda pop, but no, it's got more than that. Uh, I'm picking up a little mint. Something else there. I don't know if it's a musk or Wow, I'm mean, gonna have to look up the notes for the actual review, but it's nice. So, thank you for joining me. I hope this was educational or at least interesting, and I'll see you next time.